Hi, this video shows how to uh, handle a content editable uh, control in React. So this is what we see here and uh, I will explain it to you. Um, what is a content editable um, control? Uh, the, this stuff is not not new from or not made from React. It's from uh, HTML, a basic uh, element. That means that when you make a diff or uh, any uh, any other HTML uh, element or tag, and you insert this content editable inside there, and in React written with a equals and then these curly brackets true then this means that you that you may write not like this into your uh, to your re regular input field but that you are also able to uh, to drop some uh, uh, elements in there like this one uh, which is now let's say I'm deleting this uh, a bit bad once again, I'm opening this block and whenever I drop something in there, maybe from Word, <coughs> maybe from Word, when you look this one, uh, when I copy all my block out of there, Control C and drop it in there, Control V, then all that stuff should be in there. Uh, maybe now there is a maybe now we have the problem that let's do it with this one when you say control a for all we delete it and then I drop my stuff in there then control V and then you will see this is the stuff which comes from there and uh, and a beautiful stuff is that you may also use the visual code <clears throat> which I have also to show now. Uh, now this is in Visual Code. When you go to your client app and open the client app, client app, client app, like this one here, then with, with Visual Code, once again, now come, you come to this point uh, and when I drop, when I take some block from there, Control C, go in there, then you will see it drops the HTML in there. It's uh, it's not by by uh, it's not by it's not a, a coincidence or uh, a chance or a, um, a fortune that it uh, happens. It's made that inside there. When we would look in there, you will see that the HTML elements are there. When we drop uh, some stuff in, so. Uh, and this means that we have now our uh, content editable, editable uh, thing. You may may make some Excel stuff, but in in React, this is some something special because normally you use a field like this, and you set the state to that. So that's what you what we see there uh, when I go this now. Normally, you say in React, you have your render method, render return and then you create some stuff and you will say text field in my form uh, and my value my value my value here's my value is set by this curly bracket this state equals folder for example and when you have this content editable field then you may not do it like this you have to say uh, dangerously set in html and then whenever um the render from react comes it will take the stuff from here and you have to set the inner html the inner html by this so this is uh, specially made by react which, which means simply write in there underscore underscore html and then the initial value this one is only set once at the beginning if you would set it here uh, to value um, then, yeah, strange HTML content. Uh, this shouldn't be. Ah, now I know again. Uh, in this case, I changed it. Um, 
and I have set the value to the HTML content itself and then on changing um, you may either set this initial or you may have this as editable and then you say the state is always the HTML con uh, content but but when you do this you have to do it here uh, on input and and the on input has to be uh, whenever you make this on input here on change editor then you have to set the inner inch HTML uh, you have to get the element by the ID you set this one to the to a variable to a, you get the element itself HTML element and then you say okay this set the state of the this inner value again back so you have the inner value which, which is set by the uh, on state uh, on change editor uh, element so what i wanted to say in this case is either 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 you say uh, something like this you say this is my initial value and you simply keep this as a as initial value or you go the way and you may something with uh, the combination of uh, value and on input and whenever you put something in then you will change the editor you go up there you write something to an element and the element will come back as value so uh, then this means that when you type something in now when i'm typing then always uh, it, it is always the same also also, um, I have here this uh, value set. Now I'm not, not really sure if it works, if it's uh, done by that, but it's, uh, it works. And you will find the code. You will find that simple code. Editor, editor value, inner editor HTML. Uh, let's see, I'm not, I'm not really sure why this works um because i made some changings in there but as you see it works and you will find the code on my site and um and if something goes wrong you always have to uh, th this uh route that you initialize it and then you write uh then only then after this you only use the uh, value from there oh confusing it's a little bit it's confusing i know i know i know but what I want to say, you initialize it here, either you initialize it or you take the combination with HTML content and r then writing it back. Also, I don't know why it works at the moment, but it works. It works pretty good.